Hello everyone, it's me Gio and today we're going to be getting Laravel application up and running as a backend API to power the Next.js frontend. We will be using Laravel Breeze as our backend API and Breeze Next package which was recently released as our frontend. I have a short 4 minute review video about Breeze Next package where I discussed what the package is about so check that out if you haven't already watched it. The link to that video will be in the description. Laravel Breeze as you know can be used with just blade templates or can be paired with Inertia.js with presets for React and Vue. With the recent change to Laravel Breeze which I talked about in that short video, we are now also able to scaffold authentication API for JS apps like SPAs whether it's Next.js, Nuxt.js or something else. If we open the Laravel Breeze documentation, we see a new section just for that, Breeze and Next.js slash API. But before we get into that, we need to install Laravel Breeze, because I only have a fresh Laravel installation set up as you can see here. I installed this Laravel using Laravel Sale and I just made a change in the Docker Compose to run the localhost on port 8000, so you can do the same or just run it on a different port. So let's install Laravel Breeze, let's go back to the documentation and and we'll click on the installation here and I've already done this behind the scenes I already have the fresh Laravel installation so we just need to copy this composer command paste it in the terminal to install Laravel Breeze and just a note I am connected to the docker container so if you're using Laravel sale you need to run this in the container you can use either the sale command to do that or simply connect to the docker container and run it there so after the composer has installed the Laravel Breeze we then need to actually publish its assets like view files controllers and so on using the artisan breeze install command and then we need to run the npm install run dev migrate and so on now we're not going to actually do this because this is going to install a blade based laravel breeze which we don't need because we are trying to authenticate an xjs app and we're not using blade templates alternatively as i mentioned before if we scroll up here you could click into the breeze and inertia and get the inertia stack installed but now we have this api stack which is a new option which basically sets up Laravel application to just be an API backend without any frontend. The frontend will be somewhere else which will also get it set up which is going to be Next.js in this case. So according to this documentation we need to run the same command breeze install but with the API option here and then we need to run the migrate. So let's run this command first. The breeze scaffolding has been installed successfully. Let's run php artisan migrate and the tables have been migrated as well. Now let's open the Laravel homepage again and this was before we installed Laravel Breeze with API option. Let's refresh the page and now as you can see that Laravel homepage is gone, we no longer have the front end on this Laravel installation. If we open the code base and open the resources, we see that there are no more JavaScript or CSS or even views in this installation. One thing to note here is that after we ran Breeze install with the API option, it added this frontend URL environment variable in our env file and by default it's set to localhost 3000. This is the URL where our frontend is going to be running at. By default Next.js apps run on port 3000 so this is perfectly fine for our case but if your frontend runs on a different port make sure to change this and update it and make sure that you have this environment variable in your env file otherwise you will have cross origin errors. So now we're ready to set up the frontend. Let's open the repository for Breeze Next and follow the instructions there to get it installed. So we'll click on this link here and scroll down. And in the installation steps, it's asking us to install the fresh Laravel application. And here's the step that asks us to install Breeze with the API option, which we already did so we can skip all these things. So the next thing that we need to do is that we need to clone this repository and simply set the proper public backend URL environment variable. So to clone it, you can either go here and copy the command and run it. You can download the source manually or you can use GitHub desktop if you have that installed. So I'm going to use that and we'll install it within Breeze Next frontend directory and we'll clone that and then I'll open that within the PHP storm. Now according to the readme file here, next thing we need to do is that we need to 
copy the EMV example and create EMV local and update the backend URL as needed. In our case, my backend is running on port 8000, so we can leave this the way it is. If your backend is running on a different port, make sure you change this. And finally, we just need to run the npm install and then npm run dev. So we'll open the terminal, run npm install and npm run dev. And as you can see, it finished installing and our front end is running on port 3000. So we're going to open the browser here and this is our back end running on port 8000. But if I change the URL to port 3000 and refresh the page, we get the Laravel homepage back. But now it's running through Next.js and it's not the late template. This is just Next.js React application. And if we click on the login, we get the login page here and it's an SBA as I mentioned before. Now I don't have any users, so I won't be able to log in. So we need to register so let's go to the register page and create our account we're going to fill in the form and click the register button and as you can see it has created our account and we're logged in and we see this simple dashboard page we have the user account here and we're able to log out which takes us back to the login page we can try to log back in and it works as expected so this is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one